yapsın diyen Allah'ımızın emirlerini mutlaka dinlemeliyiz. <gülüyor> Zaman zamanlarımız olmaktadır. Bunlar ilim ehline sorarak ve manlara iştirak ederek giderebiliriz. Duamız şu olsun, Ya Rabbi bizi bize bırakma, nefislerimize şeytanlara esir eyleme. Elimizden tut Ya Rabbi, sevdiklerinin razı olduklarının yoluna koy. Amin. We are respectful brothers. It is very important that we all understand the purpose for, for which we were created. Otherwise, we are likely to waste our time doing things which are of no real value. For example, if everyone were sent to school without knowing why they were sent there, they would probably all start playing and would continue to do so until someone told them why they were supposed to be there. Allah, who is most wise, will not create us without a purpose. Because anyone who does something without any reason behind it is considered unreasonable and foolish. And Allah could never be that. For example, if a man made a machine which did not do anything, he would, he would be looked at as being crazy. Or if someone came and knocked on a door, but when asked whom he wanted, he answered, I don't know. And when asked why he knocked, he again answered, I don't know. Such an individual would be taken to the madhouse for treatment. A wise man is one who plans his affairs well in advance and does things for good reasons. Therefore Allah, the all-wise creator of man, must have created us for a very important purpose. We all know that the purpose of our creation is not that obvious. Otherwise everyone would be aware of it and we would all be involved in doing similar things. Because our purpose is somewhat hidden, Allah, most merciful, chose to reveal it to us by sending prophets with divine books containing the words of God. They could have sent angels with a message or revealed it by some other miraculous meaning, and no one would be in any doubt about, about their purpose. But Allah chose to send men to mankind in order to test their faith. He also sent along with these prophets certain miracles to show the people that they were sent by Allah. Allah explained in the Quran the last book of Revelation brought by the smart prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam exactly what that purpose was. He said, Astaghfirullah. وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا أَنْ يَعْبُدُوا اللَّهِ Verily we have sent to every nation a messenger saying perform the ibadah of Allah. He also says وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I only created the jinn and mankind for my ibadah. Therefore our purpose in life is the ibadah of Allah. If we are to perform Allah's ibadah properly, we must know exactly what it is and what it is not. Ibadah is often translated into English as worship, which is defined as honor and respect mixed with love and fear towards God, a God or a sacred object. In Arabic, ibadah literally means subservience, a willingness to serve in a low position, as well as submission. A surrender of oneself or right. It comes from the word abd, which means slave or servant. Islamically, ibadah is to obey Allah by doing whatever He has commanded and by avoiding whatever He has forbidden.